you might find yourself as you're mapping that you want to make a cylindrical tower or a sphere or an arch just to make your map look good. Now something you can do is that's really easy. You select your block tool and you go over to this area right here. Now what you have here is it says primitives and you have objects. Now if you select the objects you have many options. Spike, torus, wedge, arch, uh, cylinder, sphere. As you can tell I mean the block is the one it's automatically set to. So say you want to make a tower you can take you know you'll make a box like that drag it up a little and you have a cylinder look at it from the top and you can set the amount of faces you want by selecting it right here so these are the faces so you can make it look really really good if you set the faces pretty high so like 32 I don't suggest it suggest it because it makes your map kinda laggy um, just a personal opinion you can do it but I mean, it depends on how well your map is made. As you can tell, you know, it looks a lot better from the other one, apart from this one. I mean, look at that. It's like a perfect circle. It's adorable. Um, <laughs> you're going to so Now, let's say you want to make an arch leading off of a wall. So you go back and select your block tool. Go like that. Uh, make it a little smaller. More realistic. So you can set it up, click on arch, um, you select it and you'll have a screen like this pop up. What you do is you set the width of the wall, the, like, you know, how, how big you want the arch, the number of sides, I usually set to 16. Um, select OK, and it's on its side, so all you have to do is, you know, select it, find the proper... Uh, grid and rotate it 90 degrees make sure it's right I mean you can toy with it a little see perfect uh, oops <laughs> I just realized that's upside down real quick there why does that keep happening someone's out to get me there perfect okay as you can see, it's a nice, big, tall arch, very clean, you know, and you can adjust the width by, you know, setting it up to that. Now, if you want to make it look really good, you can use something called the vertex. Um, the vertex, uh, which is this little thing right here, the vertex tool. And I learned this from 3K's Philip, or however you pronounce his name. He what you do is you could start out and you click on it as it's selected you'll have a little box like this pop up just drag it over drag it over drag it over oops ah oh, jeez yeah toy with it I haven't perfected it obviously yet <laughs> but you, you just you know See, as you can tell, wherever you drag, it uh, moves over. The yellow dots are the ones I should have selected. That was my own fault. But it's a good tool if you figure out how to use it properly. Now, say you want a sphere that moves, like something that rolls down a hill, for instance. And you start a... Uh, that's a little small. Let's figure out how to use the carving tool. Check one of my other tutorials. I'm sure I have one already. Um, so now you want to make a sphere that moves. So you go into this. You type in sphere. Click on the block tool. Open it up. Make the box on top. You know, make it. You want unless you want an oval. I suggest you make it all the same. Like, and make it a perfect square. See, for instance, and there's your little circle. Now, a way you get it to move is after you set it up to where you want it in your map, you double or you control T, make it a funk fizz box, and apply it, and it'll start moving once you get it in your map. 
This is how people make soccer fields, that soccer mod. They do a little more things in the uh, control T. They really toy around with this, all this stuff. Uh, they go in the flat. Yeah, I see start asleep. Ignore use for pickup. Yeah, it's it's really involved and it's a really cool tool uh, to use in your maps. And it really adds something to them. Um, that's about all I can say except there's also, you know, spikes which look like this. You know, pyramids, for instance. Ah, uh, kind of a pyramid. <laughs> Um, you got wedges, and there's a, there's a, um, something, it's obviously a shape, I mean, they wouldn't lie, but I've never heard of it before, <laughs> and it's called a torus, and it's a weird looking thing, I mean, I'm in high school and I've never heard of this thing, I mean, look at it, it looks like a donut to me, or butthole, but we're not gonna talk about that, um, anyways, yeah, have fun toying around with this. You can make that maybe into a huge wheel if you rotate it, prop it up properly. Jeez, man, there's a, it's laggy though. It's crazy laggy. I don't suggest using it. Um, good luck mapping. Have fun.